Salutations to the elect, wherever you may be. Um, GM of Chicago, coming at you again, Tuesday night class. A quick sit down, a uh, sharp rebu rebuke. You know, like the scripture say, rebuke them sharp, especially when you hear some off shit. Get it. Like this guy said. So, Get that. We start with Exodus. God, this is Exodus chapter 20, verse 14. It says, Thou shalt not commit uh -huh. adultery. Thou shalt not commit adultery. Ah, that's in the law. No matter, yeah, yeah, Yahweh Shai said we're a generation of adulterers, but you do not go out there willingly or command or counsel another nigga to sleep with another man's wife. That's a wicked ass counsel, man. Hey, like I was saying earlier when we were talking about it, the only other person who got that, uh, that wicked ass counsel was the nigga Absalom. When you told him that with the concubines, y'all can right. look it up. We ain't got to bring it out. But that that's wickedness, man. You see what happens to those niggas. Mm -hmm. That's nowhere in the scripture. The Lord did not give no man a license to sin. All right? Matter of fact, go ahead with your precept. If somebody get, we teach uh, Israel to, to break the lease of the commandments. Go ahead. Is uh, Sirach 28 and 1. He that revengeth shall find vengeance from the Lord. And he will surely keep his sins in remembrance. So uh, here it is. Uh, you know, his title is what commanded general in Second. second. Only second to, to the Messiah, man. And, and uh, Good Lord. you know, the scripture truly says to, uh, you know, not seek vengeance on for yourself. And that was his advice. Right. Exactly. And his advice was to commit sin. Commit right. What it says, a man that committed adultery. Lack of wisdom. So how much more the man that gives that commanding order or that fucking counsel, man? How much wisdom, knowledge, and understanding can a commander have to tell another man to go commit adultery? I, I got it. This is uh, Matthew 5 and 19. It says, Whosoever therefore shall break one of the least of these commandments and shall teach me and so, he shall be called least in the kingdom of he heaven. Right, so if that was your fucking counsel, all right, you're going off, man. That man, you're telling. Matter of fact, like dude Romans goes into it, you um, you're suffering sin upon your brother. Yep. All right. Yeah, it says, but whosoever shall teach them, the same shall be called great in the kingdom of heaven. For I say unto you, except your righteousness shall exceed the righteousness of the scribes and Pharisees, you shall in no case enter into the kingdom of heaven. Hmm. You niggas are horrible, man. Right. That's horrible, man. That's 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 a lot of bloodshed, you know, being put on your hands. Because when you go into the scriptures, it says, Take heed to thyself and unto the flock of which the Holy Ghost have made you overseers, which the Lord purchased with his own blood. Like, you telling the man to go off. Not only, I think, good Lord, man. You teaching off doctrine, you know, because you, um, that's murder. You teach a murder. Right. That's and that's just, that's just right. complete wickedness. But like the Apostle Elder Ta'a said, some people are um, sincere, but they're wrong. They're sincerely wrong. He's not even that. He's just openly telling you openly to wicked, commit man. some wickedness, man. And you you gullibles in the crowd clap your hands and giving the standing ovation. Like, what? But that's wickedness, man. Didn't nobody say, brother, that's adultery. Fair. Right. Nobody it's... looked at him sideways. None of that. Y'all niggas out your mind. What precept you got? It's the book of Matthew chapter 15, verse 14. That the belong, that be the blind leaders of the blind. And if the blind lead the blind, both should fall into the ditch. Man, this dude's completely blind, man. It's like it's like Stevie Wonder being a carpool driver inside a race car, and he driving on an expressway, man. That's a perfect analogy. <laughs> <laughs> driving 150 miles per hour. <laughs> you know, you know, you know he gonna have buff your ass wrap around a fucking concrete barrier, man. <laughs> By following this nigga back, and you get in the car, this nigga. Like, come on, man. You know, this this nigga is completely blind. He has no vision at all, man. And you people want to follow him. Well, right. it says when there's no counsel, the people are lost. Right? And, that, and that's not sound counsel. That's not sound doctrine, man. All right? Uh, 
A lot of you niggas that's within that group are going to perish. Now, whoever's righteous is going to wake up out of that shit and see it. But the Lord is plainly showing who's the man of the Lord and who ain't the man of the Lord. Now, what's that? Uh, is that Micah? Yep. Him that served? Malachi. Malachi. Three. Malachi. 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 Grab that. It's the book of Malachi. Oh, plain. Wow. Chapter 3. Verse 18, then shall ye return and discern between the righteous and the wicked, between him that serveth the most high and him that serveth him not. Read 17. What verse you read? That is Malachi chapter 3, verse 18. Start at 16. Come, come, come. This is the book of Malachi chapter 3, verse 16. Then they that feared the Lord Yahweh spake often one to another, and the Lord Yahweh hearkened. See, that's what we're doing right now. That's what's happening right now. When you're doing the sit downs, you know, when you fellowshipping with the brothers, when you breaking bread, when you really, like the Lord said, when two or three are gathered together in my name, there I'm in the midst of them. See, that's what we're doing right now. Go ahead. And a book of remembrance was written before him for them that feared the Lord Yahweh and that thought upon his name. Mm -hmm. Verse 17. They shall be mine. Hey, when, hey, when you think upon the name, you think of everything that comes with it. I was, I was thinking, I wasn't even, that's the spirit, bro. I was going to say, I said, I ain't going to say nothing. They had to come out. To. That's his reputation, man. The name of the Lord. His image. Come on, man. man. Like you niggas are crazy as fuck, bro. Go ahead, That's why he goes into it. That's the scripture. His word is above his name. Yep. This is his reputation. This is who the, this is who I am, man. Go ahead, bro. Verse 17. And they shall be mine, said the Lord Yahweh of hosts, in that day when I make up my jewels. Mm -hmm. I will spare them as a man spares his own son that serve him. You see that? He said, I will spare them as a man spares his own son that serves him. Yeah, how about Shimmy Hong Shai ain't gonna spare or pity on these niggas? He, he, man. Go, go ahead, brother. <laughs> Verse 18. Then shall you return and serve between the righteous and the wicked, between him that serve the most high and him that serve him not. So the, Lord, the Lord is making that, you know, making he drawing that land of sand, you know, of the ones who serve him the right way and the ones who serve him not the right way. You know? Go ahead, y'all got it. Come on. Deuteronomy 13. Deuteronomy 13, I'm starting at verse 1. Okay. If there arise among you a prophet or a dreamer of dreams, and give it thee a sign or a wonder, and the sign or the wonder come to pass, whereof he spake unto thee, saying, Let us go after other gods, which thou hast not known, and let us serve them. Thou shalt not hearken unto the words of that prophet, or that dreamer of dreams, for the Lord Yahweh your power proveth thee, to know whether you love the Lord Yahweh your power with all your heart and with all your soul. You shall walk after the Lord Yahweh your power and fear him and keep his commandments and obey his voice and you shall serve him and cleave right. unto him. That's right. And that prophet or a dreamer of dreams shall be put to death because he has spoken to turn you away from the Lord Yahweh, your power, which brought you out of the land of Egypt and redeemed you out of the house of bondage to thrust thee out of the way which the Lord Yahweh thy power commanded thee <clears throat> to walk in. So shalt thou so shalt thou put the evil away from the midst of thee. So if y'all want to sit there and go follow this this nigga. 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 He, that's what he is. stoned his ass on sight. Right. Oh, okay. right. 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 You niggas so hell bent on the law. Why don't y'all put oh. that nigga to death a whole that enticed you to do this fucking foolishness, man? Because y'all ain't shit but a bunch of bitch ass niggas, man. That's why. Didn't, didn't even ask no questions. That's why. No man. Right, no, that's the spirit they in. <laughs> a whole congregation, not one person stood up and said, hey, uh, I read something different. Hey, I'll show you the niggas on. Just... Even Christians wouldn't even accept that. Right. Exactly. That's the office group in the fucking world, man. Even Christians wouldn't even agree with that. That's how low of a level you niggas are, man. Yeah, that shit pissed me off when I heard it, man. One of the many off things that y'all said. Right. And people still follow y'all. That just goes to know that just goes to show that the, you know the, the, the spirit is real, man. The Lord got those that set up to serve him, and he got those that set up to, to follow the man. And that's exactly what y'all are doing. Y'all following these weirdos, man. Alright? These people don't follow the Lord, man. They're in darkness. The, and y'all, y'all the roaches that 
There's Romans chapter 11. Should I start at verse 7? I start at verse 8. Romans 11 and 8. According as it is written, Yahweh have given them the spirit of slumber. Eyes that they should not see, and ears that they should not hear, unto this day. So those niggas, they, they sleep, man. Like I just said, the, the leader blind and the congregation blind. How you... How are we supposed to be doing Ezekiel 3, warning the wicked from his wicked ways? Mm -hmm. But you telling these niggas to do wickedness. Transparency. Right. Right. Hey, the scripture says the tree is known by his fruit. Man. This nigga is obviously wicked, man. He's the second in command. Hey, right under Satan. <laughs> right under Satan. Yeah. <laughs> the second in Go ahead. Uh, uh, go into the damn demon, right. man. Fucking demon. Uh, Matthew 15, starting in verse 18. It says, But those things which proceed out of the mouth come forth from the heart, and they defile the man. For out of the heart proceed evil thoughts, mm. murders, adulteries, mm. fornications, theft, false witnesses, blasphemies. These are the things which defile a man, but to eat with unwashed hands defileth not a man. And what he did, he said, Beware of the Pharisees' leaven. And the scriptures say that uh, out of the abundance of the heart, the mouth speaks. You know, so this is what is in commanding generally Hannah's heart. This man you is know? commanding people to commit adultery. Yeah, uh, it's like the like the one I was saying. Did you read Deuteronomy thirteen? Right. Come. Yeah. What verse you start at? Um, Don't matter. I'm reading six. <laughs> Deuteronomy thirteen and six. It says, "If thy brother, the son of thy mother." Or thy son or daughter, or thy daughter. You ain't reading that 16. Nope. Come. It says, Deuteronomy 13 and 6, it says, If thy brother, the son of thy mother, or the son of thy daughter, or the wife of thy bosom, or thy friend, which is as thy own soul. You know what I'm saying? I don't give a fuck who tell you to do it. Entice thee secretly. He did it openly, but... Entice thee secretly, saying, Let us go serve other gods, which thou hast known, which Salaki, which thou hast not known, <laughs> which thou hast not known, nor thy fathers, namely the gods of the people which are around you, nigh unto thee, or from afar off, from the end of the earth, even unto the under end of the heaven. Thou shalt not consent unto him. You niggas was clapping, man. He clearly told you to go commit adultery, and all y'all consented with him. It said, nor hearken unto him, neither shall thou, I pity him, neither shall thou spare, neither shall thou conceal him, but thou shalt surely kill him. But yeah, but thy hand shall be first upon him to put him to death, and afterward the hand of all the people. And that's why the scripture says um, in Ecclesiastes, um, it says, because the sentence against an ungodly man is not executed, it's fully set in the hearts of the sons of men to do evil. You know, because if we were in our heritage, culture, land, and language, that nigga would have had some, somebody to answer to. Everybody who was in that crowd, honestly, would have would 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 had to put their hands on him. But, you know, we have um, grew up in a society of unaccountability, and when you bring people to unaccountability, you, you judge by an unrighteous decree. Because, but you better believe the Lord is gonna rip this nigga apart. My glory uh, said they put uh, uh, life in darkness. Bitter in darkness, and light, bitter for sweet. Isaiah, that's Isaiah five and twenty. All right, and Job, he said, walk in the, uh, the land of darkness with darkness as his light right. itself. Yes. All right, King David says, Yea, though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, this right. this this place is the land of foolishness, wickedness, and unaccountability, right. and 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 it's bullshit. That's why he talked about even there the circumcision. These niggas actually know the Israelites. Mouths must be stopped. Right. This is this is Romans seven and one. Know ye not, brethren? For I speak to them that know the law, how that the law has dominion over a man as long as he liveth. So yeah, we supposed to be following the statutes, laws, and commandments. And here y'all is saying, oh, you can you can do this because right. I say. And, and no, for revenge sake. Because I was offended. Right. Tell but soft -ass but when you go into the law about revenge, all right, that's if say somebody killed your brother accidentally, you'll have to flee to that city of refuge. 
Not fucking somebody else's wife. That's nowhere in the scriptures, man. As far as a, a, a plot of revenge. I for I two for right. two. That has nothing to do that. Why would you commit adult? Even though think about when it. When we get right? Esau back, we ain't gonna do that shit. We're gonna it, kill him. 100 percent That's just like right. If uh, cause it could it wouldn't be right. It cancel each other out. That's like mm-hmm. if 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 death, right, if is the penalty for adultery. You you kill somebody for committing adultery. So but your revenge for this dude committing adultery on you is to sleep with his woman. Like that that makes no like makes you sense. niggas are crazy, man. Yeah, I was gonna get this Romans one and twenty-eight. Don't get moved to a reprobate mind. Yeah. Yeah, uh, even as they did not like to retain uh, power in their knowledge, God gave them over to a reprobate mind to do those things which are not convenient, being filled with unrighteousness, fornication, wickedness, covetousness, maliciousness, full of envy, murder, deceit, malignity, whispers, backbiters, hated of, of the power, despiteful, proud, boasters, inventors of evil things. You know what I mean? Uh, Disobedient to parents without understanding, covenant breakers, without natural affection, and placable, unmerciful, who knoweth the judgment of the power, that they which commit such things are worthy of death. Not only do they do the same, but have pleasure in them that do them. So y'all playing going off. Y'all wickedness has reached an all-time high. You know what I mean? The, the, the Yahweh don't want shit to do with y'all. He even gave y'all over to a reprobate mind. What man would tell another man to commit adultery? What kind of foolish, crazy shit is that? A so-called Israelite. Right. You know, so- niggas talk about it all day. But that's a nigga's job. I got one. You know, if I'm, if I can say real quick, man, what he, like brother just said, he said in the name of revenge, for the sake of revenge, and the Chris Rock situation, all that shit. So that's basically a form of malicious, maliciousness, man. That's big. That that's it. that that's malicious as hell. Right. You got because you got niggas in the world who who co co sign that like oh yeah or you got even people in the world. I see with somebody uh, so and so in order to make them me. That's hey, niggas rap about it all, all the all all the right. time. I got your bitch. You know, this exactly. And that. You see that that's a nigga's job, man. But right. uh, when you when you introducing this to Israel, see right. it's one thing about I'm big on um presentation, so to speak. And the thing about this is like we teach a certain way, we present ourselves a certain way to the people. You know when we. Really got our boots on the ground, you know, on this camera doing the work of y'all by shimmy our shine. Because we know what we fishing for. And we know what we not fishing for. But when you speak like that and you do shit like that, see, you gonna find a million niggas at the camp. I want to do that shit. Them niggas believe in God. Let's go. We don't want no niggas like that. He invited all niggas. So now you finna see a hundred more niggas. Oh man, you commit adultery. Right. Go ahead, brother. This uh, like we say, that's a form of maliciousness, man. This is that is malicious. Wisdom of Solomon, chapter one, verse four, it says, "For un- for unto a malicious soul, wisdom shall not enter." Mm-hmm. Right? What you just quoted, probably you say uh, the scripture say, "Is the scripture say uh, he that committed adultery lack of understanding?" Yeah, lack of understanding. Right. It says, "It says oh, shall not enter, nor dwell in the body that is subject to sin." So like you just read as well, don't make that that carnal mindset. What does scripture say? With that carnal mindset, you can't please the Lord. You know, because you just, basically he's saying, give over to your lust, give over to your flesh. Yeah. Uh, skip the law, skip the ordinance of the Lord, skip, you know, li- uh, t- uh, living a, a righteous, holy life. You know, just give over to the flesh. That's right. What's, like, what, what, how you going to do a war to fat death, man? Yeah, God. Right. Bye, pay. For they that are after the flesh do the mind the things of the flesh. But they that are after the spirit, the things of the spirit. For to be carnally minded is death, but to be spiritually minded is life and peace. So you carnal minded niggas, you you committing death. Bottom line, with your wicked abominable acts, there's no way around it. You know what I mean? You, here you're supposed to be Israelite. You're supposed to be in the truth. You're supposed to be dwelling in the spirit. But because you're not an Israelite, because all Israel and Israel, exactly. your ass is being destroyed, and you're going off. And then you know, with this cup, you know, we'll <clears throat> sip. You know, the you know the fruit prince of Bel Air. <laughs> What this dork did, that wasn't unlawful. Now, if Chris Rock could have hit him back, Chris Rock could have, you know, cursed him in the name of the Lord, which he ain't doing neither. But the thing about it is, that's revenge. But what Will Smith did wasn't even going off. But committing adultery with his wife would be going off. He just hit him, he just stole off a nigga, like, 
That's not going off. A prophet asked another prophet to strike him. You niggas are stupid, man. Straight up, man. And if he offended him, he should have hit his ass back. Or cursed him in the name of your heart about shit was shot. What the fuck going into sleeping with this man? No, that little, that little, ooh, that little raggedy head peanut nigga woman. Too much this shit, like. Jada Pinkett is a perfect example why you stay the fuck away from the black woman, too. For real. A hundred percent. Right. Now, if you got one, you dealing with her, she pleads to dwell, that's cool. Just wait for the fuck up and leave that bitch alone. <laughs> Don't just put her away and be wicked. No, that's wicked if you already got one. But if you ain't got one, look, stay the fuck away from that bitch. Go ahead. That fucking one. black woman. This is uh, Galatians 5 and 19. Now the works of the flesh are manifest, which are these, adultery, fornication. Damn, it's the first one. Read, yeah, read. Yeah, it. Start, start that back from the top. Galatians mm -hmm. 5 and 19. Now the works of the flesh are manifest, which are these, adultery, Fornication, uncleanness, lasciviousness. So Which all you niggas all are guilty of. One and the same, though. Yeah, it's carnal. All carnal. All you niggas are guilty of. Well, that's wicked. Everything is carnal, not wicked. That's just straight fucking wickedness. Right. Just get the word carnal. It's carnal. <laughs> yeah, everything is carnal, not wicked. How about that? That shit is just wicked. Ecclesiastes 3 and 27, also known as Sirach 3 and 27. An obstinate, and that word goes in like stubborn, an obstinate heart brother deep shall be laden with sorrow, and the wicked man shall heap sin upon sin. All right, wow. did the Lord give a, 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 a man license to sin? No. The Lord told you don't suffer sin upon your brother. Yet, this is your counsel. This is your wicked Yeah, that means counsel. And, and the scripture he just quoted, that means put niggas to death when they going off. Check them, rebuke them. The scripture says scripture for um, reproof, rebuke, instruction. That was, that was none of that. That was, right. <laughs> that shit, good Lord, man. What are you niggas at? He, he <laughs> got a nigga telling the other people, hey, revenge, hey, he could have committed adultery. Got niggas having fashion shows at what, what, what's what's like, what the What's Leatherpants' name? Fuck, man. What's Leatherpants' name? He came up here. He the light skinned digger that be doing all the. Uh, Tazaria? Yeah, what the fuck you at? What the fuck you at, man? What the fuck you at to rebuke this nigga? Because he didn't rebuke me. <laughs> man, That's rebuke that fat fuck. Right. That nigga like a big. Tug man. Complete wicked. Man, I, I can't, man. Salak Ryan Wamasha potting to you niggas, man. I can't stand you fucking niggas, man. Huh. God damn, I hate you niggas, man. All of y'all some straight fools. Man. All y'all some bitch ass niggas, man. Straight up. Fucking peons. I'm just fucking angry, bro. I'm nah, like, hey, I really hate these goddamn niggas. I says rebuke them sharply, man. Because none of you other fucking camps are going to do it. None of you other fucking guys with your zeet zeets and your fringes are gonna do it. Mm -hmm. What's the point of wearing this if y'all ain't gonna stand up for it? Cause that nigga sat up there in that goddamn chair with his fringes on and told another man to commit adultery. What's the point of wearing the border of blue and fringes then? Right. What are you niggas doing this for? That's why the Lord is gonna smoke a lot of you niggas, man. Like a smoke trout over a fucking open fire, man. He's gonna dehydrate your ass. That's right. Oh, um, what you got, brother? I just got one, really. This is second hand. <laughs> no, I'm angry. <laughs> <laughs> uh, this shit pissed you off, man. This shit can't piss you off, man. Yeah. They, they call themselves ears for lights? What? Yeah. You know, it's like that. Niggas, man. Second Hedrick's chapter 9, verse 9. Then shall they be in pitiful case, which now have abused my ways. That's right. Y'all totally stepping on the Lord word. Stepping on the grace, man. Hey, like, not only the mark. Right. Not only John the Baptist wasn't a man of the Lord, <laughs> now that all this other shit, you added this on like, what is it going to take for you people worse. to see that these niggas are wicked? Right. Yeah, y'all got all the shit in the world to say against the man of the Lord being GMS, man. Right. He speaks across the scriptures. Go ahead. Right. He says, which now have abused my ways, and they that have cast them away despitefully shall dwell in torments. So they despitefully, they despitefully cast off the commands, man. Right? You know, they basically, they got, they cast off the spiritual garments. 
Yeah, they look pretty. They no, they naked. Yeah, they look <laughs> right. That's, yeah, they naked. That's the point. Now, them niggas are naked, man. That's why the script said they going to dwell in torments. Who knows what type of misery the boy got in store for these type of people, man? All type. Everything. He going to bring their imagination to get some. Mm -hmm. Talking about some. He... You go for hey man, the Lord gonna have some niggas fuck you. Bro, I just thought about it. Not I just some, some niggas are gonna ask if you got a wife and fuck you anyway. They gonna fuck. They, they gonna fuck said that, what was that? Not earthquake. The other community said, "Damn, these niggas rape me and my wife." Man, them niggas gonna knife rape you. They gonna fork rape you. Fuck you, nigga. I got this real quick, man. Go ahead. Abraham, you was gonna say something. I was gonna say, get the messages in there, man. Let them get out. <laughs> That's what I'm saying, man. This is uh, 2 Timothy 3 and verse 1. This know also, in the last days, perilous times shall come. For men shall be lovers of their own self, covetous. That was covetous. That was the love of yourself because Yahweh Bashim Yahweh ain't dealing with that. The men of the Lord ain't dealing with that. Boasters, proud, blasphemous, disobedient to parents, unthankful, unholy, without natural affection, oh, truth breakers. Salaki. Go ahead. They talk about John the Baptist. How did John the Baptist cut? Um, who was that? Herod. Because Herod was committing adultery. Right. Herod was committing adultery, man. Man. Because he's his brother. I think Philip, his brother. What right. did he have his brother name? It was he was trying to deal with his brother's wife. Go ahead, man. 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 Without natural affection, truth breakers, false accusers, incontinent fears, despisers of those that are good. And that's why they don't fuck with GMS. Right. That's why. Because the despisers of those that's doing good, that's good, man. Within the gate. They hate it, man. Good. He that departed from evil, making himself afraid. See, nobody talk about y'all. And the ISUPK don't talk about IUIC. IUIC don't talk about Sakari. Because all y'all are a bunch of wicked ass niggas. That's why y'all won't agree with everything, but y'all go along to get along just to talk shit about us, and we don't like none of you niggas. Birds of a feather flock together. What he just said. It says, verse 4, it says, traitors, <laughs> heady, high-minded, lovers of pleasure right. more than lovers of your house. You see, that nigga love sitting up there in that big chair, spot wire on him, <laughs> talking <laughs> big funky-ass <laughs> nigga, man. Was that a whoopee cushion? No, this funky ass nigga party. Hey, he and that bitch looking greasy. Greasy as fuck. Greasy as hell. Right? See, that's the only time nigga ain't seen his dick in God knows how long. Exactly. So that's the only time he really get to preside over anything. Any elbows dipped in fucking cigarette ashes. They wasn't the one fucking risk us. That's all you see. Nigga, belly on the damn table. I would have told him. Like, <laughs> that's clown shit, man. Just speak to this. Like that's straight clown shit. All right, it's the power in the scriptures, man. They ass look ignorant and foolish. That's right. And you, ignorant. dumb nigga, you deserve to be following a nigga like that. Gonna yeah. Up and give him a fucking standing ovation. Yeah. Go ahead, man. It says, verse 5, having a form of godliness, but denying the power thereof from such turning away. What is that? Like the other brother was just saying, he got the beard. You know, niggas got the, you got the fringes, you know, that that's a form of godliness because right. having a beard, you know, having the fringes, having a Torah up there, having a menorah, that, that, yeah. You get that that's scripture. That's, well, that's the form of godliness. Right. You know, you know better. Right. The same scripture that tell you not to commit adultery. Why do you right. got all that up there? But, like it says, having a form of godliness but denying the power thereof from such turn away. Hmm. Of this sort are they which creep into houses and lead captive silly mm -hmm. women, <laughs> laden with sins, mm -hmm. led away with diverse lusts. The wisdom of people calls from error. Ever learning and never able to come to the knowledge of the truth. Now, Janice and Jamers were still in Moses, like you niggas do us. So do these resist the truth. Men of corrupt minds reprobate, reprobate. concerning the faith, mm -hmm. but they shall proceed no farther, for their folly shall be manifest to all men as theirs also was. Yep. That's what's going on. Your folly from like like you, the, the, from the from the from the MOTB, from the John the Baptist, that, that huff ass breakdown. 
that 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 that's come on man. The, the to the adultery. You niggas don't start with Charles, man. From even just saying I'm the command in second. Second in command who? How do you know that the scriptures say don't judge? I'm not right under Satan. Fucking demon. Which is why we say we're the hope of the left. Right. Let me grab this one. Go ahead, man. Go ahead, y'all. So we're gonna close it out on yours, Rigo. It's the book of Jeremiah, chapter 5, verse. This is this book of Jeremiah chapter 5, verse 25. Now, matter of fact, that started 26. For among my people I found wicked men. Hmm. They lay wait and see that set of snares. They set a trap, they catch men. So ain't, ain't all these niggas are wicked, man. Read that to the last verse, too. Verse 27, as a cave is full of birds, hmm. so are they hmm. houses full of deceit. Therefore, they have become great and wax and rich. You can tell these niggas getting the bad, man. Look what they doing, man. It's like they getting paid to tell our people to go off, man. You you, you know you know different than these pastors sat these churches, man. Yep. You know you know different than them. You That's know, right. but you claim to be an Israelite, right? The scriptures say you know that you know these, that these dudes are grabbing the wolves, man. You know they're a bunch of pretenders. Right, right. Verse right. verse twenty eight, they're wax and fat. They shine, yay. Don't pass the deeds of the wicked. They judge not the cause. Nope. Cause of the followers, yet they prosper in the right of the needy do they not judge. So, so what y'all doing, man? Telling people to commit adultery, man. Telling people to do this, that, and the third, which is totally off, man. You were doing worse than Esau, man. You know? Worse than the fucking wicked, man. You know? Verse 29, shall I not visit for these things, saith the Lord Yahweh? Shall not my soul be avenged on such a nation as this? Amen. He gonna get true vengeance, man. Go ahead. <laughs> man, the Lord's gonna whack Whack you niggas, man. With These miss man, with a missile, Jake the trouble, soldiers, all that, man. I told you, I hope, I pray that nigga get knife raped, lest he repent. That's, 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 that's a vicious raping. Verse 30, a wonderful and horrible thing is committed in the land. Yeah, mm -hmm. right here. <laughs> the prophet prophesied falsely, and the priest built rule by, by their, their means. own means. <laughs> by their own shit. They built rule by their means. Where is that in the scriptures, man? That's what you do. You get in. Get some. The boy, the nigga, nigga said, sweat and don't get the best. He said, <laughs> sweat and I, I forgot what fucking the city and state it was. He said, they got the best hair. Nigga, how do you know? I know all the details. Go get some Hennessy. Go get some, go get some good Cali weed. Go get that, uh, some Man. Coke. And Chris Rock, go fuck his wife. That, that was your counsel. Told this nigga to go get high as fuck. Ain't gonna fuck this nigga wife. He didn't say act like you cool with the son, Jay. Right then, yeah. What the fuck? He ain't like that Tyrone's beard. <laughs> man, you niggas are gonna die. And yeah, my people love to have it so. And yep. what we what That's why you got niggas. That's why you got niggas giving him a standing ovation. What type of counsel was that, man? Go ahead. Read 30 over. Yeah, come on. So what? No, no, it was in the spirit, man. This the book of Jeremiah chapter. 5 verse 31, the prophets prophesied falsely, and the priests bear rule by their means. And my people love to have it so. And what ye do in the end thereof. You love, you people love, man. Y'all people clapping, clapping, cheering, man. You know, y'all, y'all happy for what this nigga was saying, man. Fucking cones, man. Fucking niggas, man. Fucking peons. Come on. Go ahead. Yeah, man. Let's, 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 no, no, no. You God, have it's one. Proverbs uh, 6 and 29. <laughs> Can a man take fire in his bosom and his clothes not be burned? Start at 27. Hmm. No, so like it. It's Proverbs 6 and 20. This is 27. Uh, uh, Proverbs 6 and 27. Okay. Can a man take fire in his bosom and his clothes not be burned? So like it. That's 27? That's 27. So like Start at 25. It's uh, Proverbs 6 25. Lust not after her beauty in thy heart, neither let her... So like it. Start at 24. Uh, Proverbs 6 24. To keep thee from the evil woman, from the flattery of the tongue of a strange woman. Mm -hmm. Lust not after her beauty in thy heart, neither let her neither let her take thee with her eyelids. Mm -hmm. For by means of a horse woman, a man is brought to a piece of bread, and the adulteress will hunt for the precious life. Right, man. That's what the scripture man go ahead, man. Good Lord. Can a man take fire in his bosom and his clothes not be burned? Can one go up upon hot coals and his feet not be burned? So he that goeth into his neighbor's wife, whosoever touches her, shall not be innocent. Now I'm going to skip down to 32. Uh, this Did, what you you said know earlier. what that's equivalent of? Mm -hmm. so like, Did you know how we committed adultery against the Lord? 
Fuck. What if the Lord got pissed off and said, fuck you niggas, I'm going to go fuck with Esau. I'm going to fuck, fuck with the heathen. The Moabites. I'm going to fuck with the Moabites. We'll be out here finished. Man, yeah. go ahead. Uh, but whosoever committed adultery with a woman lacketh understanding, there you go. he that doeth it destroyeth his own soul. So like the brother Ellis was saying, at the end of the day, motherfuckers are giving wicked counsel. Y'all not up there right. tonight. How, yeah. how much more than nigga that gives the counsel for you to do that? That nigga most definitely ain't got no brain, no spirit, no understanding, no nothing. That's what went down with Absalom, man. Come. That madness, man. He told him to do that madness. Well, the nigga's been doing this. You got more? Just based on what y'all was just talking about. All right, come. This is uh, Sirach 21 and 14. The inner parts of a fool are like a broken vessel, and he will hold no knowledge as long as he lives. Come on, water in the cup that got. 400 fucking holes. Hey, that's why in that Timothy, when he talked about the niggas, he said, ever learn, and never able to come into the knowledge of the truth. You got the Torah up there, probably. You got the menorah. Right. Got the oh, right beer, past Leviticus. Got the garment. <laughs> right past everything, man. This nigga's just a joke. Because adultery, look, man, adultery go back. Adultery so hard of, of, of some go off that, uh, that Hamite, even before Moses laid down the law, um, uh, Written, you know, when you go into the time of, I think it was Abraham and the Pharaoh, after Melik, oh, yeah. he told him, he said, why didn't you tell me? And that goes into Lord what you were talking him. about earlier, you know, being deceivers and yet true. Mm -hmm. He said it was a sister. Right, yeah. It was a sister. It was a sister. But it was his woman. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? God. So he spent them on that. But the Pharaoh said, man, he came to me in a dream, man. I already got killed. Why didn't you tell me? Get, get out, man. Go on. <laughs> Uh, Hamite had more integrity than you bitch ass niggas. Yeah. Niggas. Now let that resonate. Right. Right. Now let that resonate. Huh. Fucking monkey. Yeah. So, Go ahead. Uh, Wisdom of Solomon, chapter 1, verse 9. It says, For inquisition, right? I mean, the question for inquisition shall be made unto the counsels of the ungodly, and the sound of, and the sound of his words shall come unto the Lord for the manifestation of his wicked deeds. Damn. So within these Perfect. last days, man, like the brother was just saying, the Lord got something special for y'all, man. Y'all out there misleading all these things. If you don't get a wicked counsel, you're gonna have right. you gonna have a hell of a judgment to go with that, man. All the sins. Mm -hmm. All the And so, hey, so with that, hey, we, we pray you was edified. This was hey, just a sharp review, because these niggas gotta die, man. Alright? Um all praises on them, glory be unto Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shad, Bahashem, Rakak with us. Double honors to thee, all the apostles of Great Millstone, salutations to the elect, where you may be. Bob, 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 Bob.